So today I'm gonna be installing the uh, paddle shifters for my 2011 Lancer. And before you install one of these, make sure you have a uh, this wire right here, this plug. If you don't have it, uh, then don't get it. But if you do, then you could you could get it to make the car more fun. And then to check it, you just gotta take off the two cover on top here, one top and the bottom. There'll be there'll be two screws here where you can take off the cover the cover so first i'm just gonna uh take the the airbag sensor out and then um and there's gonna be a screw somewhere right right here uh a t30 screw to take it out and then you'll be able to pop out the airbag and then take out the the horn sensor and then unbolt the bolt that's holding in the steering wheel so what you guys just gotta do is just pull this back, pull it back. Yeah, see, all you gotta do is just pull it back like that, and then it will come off. And then next is gonna be the T30 screw right there. So I'm gonna unscrew this side, but I didn't take all the way out. And then there's a, another one over here, right, right there. Take it out, and then the air bell should come off freely. So once you untighten the the T30 bolts, screws, this should come out freely, and you will see um, right there. You will see a horn sensor on there. So just un uh, unplug that, and then it will come out. And just take out that bolt right there, the nut. So what you want to do next is just untighten this. I've already tightened. I've already untightened it. So I'm just gonna wiggle it to make it pop out, and then I'll be installing the paddle shifters on here. And I think that's about it for unplugging the the plugs or wires. And then I'll and I'll shake it. Just just shake it a little bit, and it's already free to come out. Look at that. And then. Make sure you keep this safe so you don't lose it. And then the steering wheel should just come off like that. Um, okay, I think you have to unplug that first. Okay. Okay, so I like there's another plug that you have to take out right here in the middle. The clock spring plug. Just push this and then come out easily. And then just take the steering wheel off. Voila. And then I'm just gonna be installing the shifters. And I'll tell you the screw size for, for it. Gotta have to check. So the two screws that they go here and here are M6 by 20 mil. And then I'll get started out the my sh paddle shifters. Uh, one more thing when you buy the paddle shifters, make sure you, uh, it come with the the two covers. So there's a, a spot for the paddle shifts to go out of. And I got this from a friend for uh, fifty doc fifty dollars. So that's very cheap. You can get some online. You know. Last time I checked, it was about like 150. Someone was selling it for. But yeah, the the plug that's gonna go on here is this one, right there. It's gonna be easy fit. And then uh, I'll show you guys uh, that it works too. And then the shifting gears works perfectly. So here you go. There's gonna be uh, two screws that you need for the two top here. It's a um, 10 by 3 fourth. Uh, tapping screws, ten three quarter uh, tapping screws that go on top, and then a M six by twenty go on the bottom, right there. They make like the slot, ah, oh, the spot up like perfectly made for it. Like make it simple to install it. Yep. And then also on the bottom too, the two the two holes they they fit right to the hole, perfectly. And then um. I'm gonna screw the two top and then the two bottom and then install it. So this this is the top end screw that went and got. It's um right there. Ten by three quarter and then they go on the two top corners. And then I'll be installing right now. Side. 
And I'm gonna make sure I plug this in too. Plug it in. And that's that's about it. Just plug that in and then now you got a pedal shifter on the car. Now we just gotta put back on the the, the steering wheel, the airbag, and then screw everything back on. Plug these uh wire plugs back on. And yeah. So putting this back on, make sure your wheels are like completely straight because because there's like a thread over here that it goes onto. And then if you didn't if you don't put it back on straight, your wheel will be crooked or and you won't like it. And just push it in. There you go. Just like that. My wheels are I checked it. They're pretty straight. I'm gonna hold on, let me see. Oh this way. Okay. Just like that. Okay. I'm just gonna put this bolt back on so it doesn't come loose. And then got to make sure to, I don't even know what this wire is for, maybe like the control or something. Just plug it back in. Yeah. Oh, that's in? Okay. And we got to, and we got to put the horn, the horn sensor back, I plug it back onto the airbag. This is right here. So it's this one right here. Yeah, so you just gotta put the horn sensor back on. Just, we'll just clip it back on like that. Yep. And just... Hold on. I'm sorry, I've gotta put this... Gotta put the airbag plug back out so it will fit on. There you go. Just like that. And don't forget to tighten your... Uh, T30 screw on the side over here. Oh, look at that. It's getting, yeah, right there. Oh, shoot. But first thing first, I got to tighten the, the, the bolt on back, the bolt back on here. I forgot about that. Okay, I got to do that first. Okay, now that I tighten it, I'm going to put the airbag back on again. And then plug back in the, the airbag sensor. And then put, put my uh, two covers and put the screws for the covers. And then that's about it. So I didn't have enough room because the pedal shifter was in the way, but I turned the steering wheel and then I'm going to tighten this now. Okay, so before you put the the bottom cover on, just un, um, pull this down so because it has to go under here, otherwise it won't go up. There you go. And then just slide up here. There you go. Now I have one more piece, just the top piece. Like that, and then get your screws and tighten the the spot for the two screws at the bottom here. It should be right up there. Don't know if you guys can see it, but it's up here. There's two of it. There, that's two, those two. Once you, and then I'm gonna tighten that. And I'm gonna show you guys that it works. And also, uh, the pedal shift. I already tested out that it works. Like without me taking on the steering wheel, yeah, I just tested that that it works so I could put it on. And yeah, I'm gonna put these uh two screws back at the bottom and I'll show you guys that it works and you know how more and more fun it could be. And this is just automatic car. If you guys wanna see how I install this one, I maybe leave a comment and then I can show you guys, take it apart and show you guys how to install it. So now I got everything back on and as you can see it fits perfectly. It works. And oh, I gotta. There you go. And that's that. And this will probably eventually. This will really make your car more fun to drive. Okay, guys. So this is how the uh, paddle shape works. So right now, your paddle shape will work only if you go like uh, five kilometers per hour and up. And then right now I'm at one. So I'll change it. And there's two. This is the uh, this is a six speed, so that's pretty good, I guess. 
is a 6P automatic. And then I'll show you guys the downshift. So once you come to a stop, it will just go back to drive by on its own. And look. Yeah. So you can so you just basically will start up with a drive again. And then um, it depends on how fast you're going. If you go and start from driving and then you're just driving around, then you want to go into uh, the pedal shift, click it, it will go to the highest gear that uh, it matches. And if you want to cancel your pedal shift, just uh, hold the plus and it will go back to drive. And here I'll show you. And like that. Okay, guys, that's about it uh, for how to use the pedal shift. And yep, that's it. And I'm gonna give you guys a quick demo. So that's pretty good. It's actually way more fun than just having just a regular one automatic and then just drive by so it's actually more fun to drive it with and I'm on down shift video uh, helpful and hope you guys like it too all right see you in the next video